and in want of all things. It says in want of all things, the curse that's going to be put on our people is we're going to have to serve our enemies. All right? For what? For a driver's license. What do you got to go to get your driver's license? Yeah, man. What about if you want to go get a passport? Bring it out. What about uh, a birth certificate? If you want to bury somebody, get a death certificate, you have to go to your enemy. All right? For schooling, you got to go to school. Who do you go to? Your enemy's going to teach you things. Right. There's nothing There's nothing outside of this word that, we, that we're going to go to for, uh, we have to go to our enemies for. That's it. Is that it? Keep going. And he shall put a... It says he, our enemies are going to do what? Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Look at this sound right here. That's the yokes of iron. That's proof that it's talking about our people. Our people was the ones that was taking the slavery for breaking the laws of God. It said, hey, when these chains come off, we're going to be a destroyed people. And what I mean by that is, think about things like this. We're destroyed, we're destroyed to the point where, in our communities, if you look around, a lot of our communities that we live in, trash everywhere, there's a high crime rate, prostitution, the drugs and everything is, is common in the areas that we live in. But you go to other nations like so-called white men or Arab neighborhood, you don't see these type of things. Like where I know where I live, there's a there's a long strip of road where you can constantly see the prostitution out there, police precinct right there, nothing's being done about it. Now could you do the same thing in a in a white man's neighborhood? Like think for example, late night if there's a if there's a couple of prostitutes walking in a white person's neighborhood, what do you think is gonna happen? Cops gonna come look, get exact cops will come get it right away. Right. They're not gonna allow that in their neighborhood. But there's a reason why they allow it in your neighborhood. Because they know if you keep on doing it, you're gonna be at the bottom. Give me first Kings 9 real quick. I'm gonna prove to you that these other nations are not your friends. I'm gonna prove to you that these other nations know who you are and wanna keep you at the bottom so they can stay on top of you. Because if I'm your enemy, why would I want you to know know the things about this Bible? Why why would I want you to know that you are the best thing that ever happened to, to this world? I want you to get above me. I want you to stay at the bottom so you can get The owners of the team, majority of them, are, most of them are all what? White. I think there's only probably one black owner in the NBA. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's one. Same for the NFL. All these corporations are owned by our enemies. They keep us at the bottom. Give me First Kings, not start of verse uh, 5. The book of First Kings, chapter 9 and verse 5. Hey, what's your name, bro? Calvin. What's your, uh, what tribe you come from? Talk to him real quick. Verse 5. Then what? Then I will establish the throne of thy kingdom upon Israel forever. So if we keep the laws of God, the Lord's going to establish the throne of Israel, the throne on Israel forever. We're going to be on top forever. Keep going. As I promised to David thy father, saying, There shall not fail thee a man upon the upon the throne of Israel. But if ye shall at all turn from following me, if you break my commandments, if you don't listen to what I say, ye or your children, and will not keep my commandments, if your children don't obey, if you tell them they don't do it, go ahead. And my statutes which I have set before you, but go and serve other gods. Serving other gods, outside of what I, what I am. So. Serving Christianity and everything that Christianity represents, like Christmas, the pagan holidays, uh, uh, men shaving their faces. We'll get into that too. Keep going. And worship them? Then will I cut off Israel out of the land which I have given them. He's going to cut us off, okay? Go ahead. And this house, which I have hallowed for my name, will I cast out of my sight. And Israel shall be a proverb and a byword among all people. He said if we don't keep the laws of God, we're going to be a proverb and a byword to all the other nations. Meaning we're going to be a laughing stock. Instead of being called Judah, which you are, what are they going to call you? They'll call you African American, a nigga. They'll call them the uh, Issacars. They're going to call them spits, wetbacks. They're going to call the Indians a bunch of bunch of monkeys and things of that nature. We're going to be called everything outside of what the Lord told us. That's what the Bible says, what your enemies think about you, because you do have enemies, like the Bible says. Keep going. And at this house, which is high, everyone that passes by it shall be astonished. They're going to be astonished because they know we are supposed to be at the top. We are the authors of beauty. Can y'all get that for me? Wisdom of Solomon 13 and 3. So what? 13 and 3. All right. And shall hiss, and they shall say, 
Why hath the Lord done this unto this land? So they're going to say, why have the Lord done this to these people? They were supposed to be high. Why are they brought so low? Keep going. And unto this house. Go ahead. And they shall answer. Because the heathens know. He said, and they shall answer, meaning the other nations. Go ahead. Because they forsook the Lord their God. So they know that we are the children of Israel. They know to keep us at the bottom. They know if we break the laws, we're going to be at the bottom of society. Go ahead. Who brought forth their fathers out of the land of Egypt. So our fathers were the ones that were brought out of the land of Egypt. Moses is your forefather. Aaron. All these people before us are found in this Bible. Keep going. And have taken hold upon other gods. Other gods mean the philosophies of the white man. The philosophies of the Arab man. All these other nations. We took hold of that instead of holding on to this Bible. The words of God. Keep going. And have worshipped them and served them. Therefore, have the Lord brought upon them all this evil. All this evil is brought upon us because we refuse to keep the laws of God. Does everybody understand that? I want to make sure everybody understands that. So we're going to get into some commandments and let you know what laws we broke so we can then repent from that and then keep the laws of God and be in a better position. Give me um, Leviticus 21 to 5. Leviticus 21 to 5. So for one thing, if you look around and see all the brothers in purple, You'll notice that we all have beards, our beards growing, right? It's not for not, not for any reason, because I didn't have a beard before I came over here. I used to think, you know, I had a job, they made me shave my face and everything. So I just kept it like that. I thought it was cool. Well, go ahead. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. It says they shall not make baldness upon their head. So we are not to shave our heads as Israelite men. It's one thing to be bald. If you naturally go bald, let it go. But if your hair's still growing, you are not to shave it to match the baldness. So when you see Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, uh, all these, Floyd Mayweather, all these, these famous people with bald heads, they're breaking the a, a law of God. So like I said, if your hair starts to bald and you got hair on the sides, let, st let the hair stay on the sides. Or like cut it down low, but don't shave it to match the top. That's a law that God says. Don't shave your head. Keep going. Neither neither shall they shave off the corner of thy beard nor make any cuttings in their flesh so we are not to shave our beards off like a lot of but some brothers can't grow a full beard but you grow what you can because that's what the most i gave you be, be grateful for that also what's the last part it said nor make any cuttings in their flesh so any cuttings in their flesh means it talks about um, the old ancient customs, of, well, they still do them, the uh, customs of the Egyptians used to make cutties in their flesh. Right. Just like on um, Killmonger, kill that's what it is, yep, Black right. Panther. Every time he killed somebody, he made a cut in his flesh for that, right? We are not to do that. And that also goes into tattoos. That's one thing the Lord says not to do. That's not our custom. That's the customs of the other nations that we took hold of. And remember, God said we are not to take hold of these customs because it keeps us in, in captivity. All right? So we do have brothers that do have tattoos, but they repent it. What I mean by repent, get repentance for me. What I mean by repent is they learned that they were doing something wrong. They asked for forgiveness. And from then on out, they stopped doing it. They didn't do it no more. That's what repentance is. It's a process, okay? We're, we're still repenting to this day. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.